Hi lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Yoma Daniel. And yeah, please do like and subscribe our videos so that um uh, to our channel, sorry, subscribe to our channel so that we discuss um a lot of things that we can learn from, a lot of things that we, we can learn from as human beings. We can learn together, we can um correct one another and we can um you know um just just help each other in life um this video um is really really inspired by three stories that i had and i'm going to to share them here i'm going to name people a b and c and i'm going to make their stories as short as as they can um uh, let us talk about inheritance inheritance um there was a day that um me and my partner went to a different location and we found a boy there the boy looked very homeless and he said to me that guy had a lot of money he he used to sorry my, my voice might be a little bit down so let me just <clears throat> increase it a little bit um he used to um he inherited he used to work and then he quit his job because when his parents died he they left inheritance for for the child and um he was given money in the house the other children were were not given anything or maybe they were given what they were given i don't know because he was the last born and um he now started drinking up the money for inheritance, like in the bar, even bathing with alcohol, drinking all these expensive bottles. And um, until the money finished, he quit his job. He drank up the inheritance money. The money is finished. Now he wanted to move to selling the house. And then one, one of, very cheap price. And then one of the sisters said, no, I am, I am buying the house. Um, then the sister bought the house and now luckily he is now staying at the backyard of the house um not inside the house but at the backyard of the house with the ukapereki just living there ukapereki. and if you see the child it's emotional but that is not even what got me emotional i know of a lady i know of a lady um that inherited money a boat a car had a few money got a boyfriend and the boyfriend um chopped this money they chopped up the money i don't know they sold the car they chopped it up the money when the money is completely finished they in a way broke up and then i come to the last sensitive um topic that i this one i i, I saw with my own i spoke closely to a little bit to myself um not too closely but I, I i i when i saw i mean i i saw and it was very 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 emotional it was two two boys living not too far from our our place um one day um i wanted my my partner knows that i like fruits and vegetables so one day he came with um plastic of oranges and then he said, yeah, you like oranges, get the original oranges. I'm like, where did you get them? They were so nice. I juiced them and the orange, the orange juice was a little bit sour. And you know, it's original, like lemon in a way. And I'm like, where did you find this lemon? I'm like, no, my friends have a tree there uh, by the house. We can go there and then you can get one. I was like, okay, let's go. I went to that house. And in a way, um he was telling me about how the family members are trying to negotiate or negotiate with them because they don't have money to buy the house at a cheaper price so that i don't know where these children are supposed to go when you are trying to buy the house at a cheaper price and then they go away i don't know but never nevertheless we went there and then um when i went to them to their house friends have made this house their drinking place because it's a lot of cigarettes on the ground it's bottles when i looked around i'm just like okay wrong place 
wrong place. You know, when the, when there are no parents at the house and friends, <laughs> friends, we should be very careful of friends. Friends, friends, if we do not choose good friends for ourselves, we are going to suffer. And then now I looked at this boy. I looked at his skin. He had a skin condition, but I don't think he was born like that. I These people don't have food. They don't have, oh my goodness, it was emotional. Now, I, I as I take my oranges one by one from the tree, I look at the boy, I look at the surrounding, I take one by one by the tree, and I got emotional. So after then, I told my partner, can, can we just drive to Pick and Pay? We drove to Pick and Pay, and I had $300, and I just bought bread, um, top score, cooking oil, um, those fish cans, um, uh, sugar, tea, the basic needs. And then I brought to him to say, thank you so much that you, you, you gave me oranges. I am very grateful. Um, can you please take this? just as a token of appreciation for you also giving me because i picked up that we like to be given so much but we do not give and imagine people that are having nothing are giving you but you can't even give them anything so i really got emotional so as we drive to their house we started having um chat and he was talking about how he used to go to 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 um there's a place um how they used to go to greenwell back in the days greenwell evelyn street used to be a thing so how they used to go to greenwell evelyn street back in the days so that only clicked that these people were also given a car so when the parents died they were given a house they were given a car and probably some money but it, it 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 I cannot now go further into details to ask because it's it's really a sensitive topic and everything is so sensitive and as sensitive as it as it looks. So I, I just looked and I'm like, okay, um what what went wrong in this whole story? After a year or so that boy passed away. That boy passed away. Um for my partner to tell me that was remember that boy, yes. He passed away and he was only staying with the brother. So I really do not know who else. I, I really do not even know what happened to the brother as I never really asked up until today. But every time I see this guy, I'm just like, what exactly happened? Because I never really had the full story. What exactly happened? And then it comes back to us to say, what do we need to do different before we leave these children with assets? Because we, we, these assets are either, but at least they have a house. You thank God that they were left with a house. At least they have a house. But there are no earnings, no, no electricity, no, they're suffering. Maybe one thing that I should say is that I must put it out there to say if, if we can please take care of, 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 of our people. That, of course, you cannot really take care of everybody up until there because then it won't be enough. But at least if we can just take care of our close family members. Let me say, for instance, your sister's children, your brother's children. Your, if we can just take care of those people when the, their parents are gone, mm -hmm. then it, 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 it's much better. We are not saying take care of the, them in a way that you want to eat up their money let us not eat up children's money but in a way can we can we guide them through if they are too young um apart from that um i also want to speak to um, us as parents when we are leaving this um life covers and for our children's and money and everything for our children's can we please maybe learn to have open discussions with our children to to teach them on money management how to manage money how then can we manage this money should we be given inheritances because this thing of inheritances is such a good idea because you you don't need to start from scratch you you don't need to start from scratch it's it's easy money that just you get and then you if you are thinking very wisely you just think what can i how can i multiply this money and then you go in instead of how to multiply our 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 children are spending 
they spend the money is finished it's finished they start suffering but nobody ever tells them on how to invest if you are given even a one million dollar uh policy why don't you sit for example and go like okay if you have a house maybe it's paid off if there's something that is left what can i do with this more money that is left what can i do with my life so that i become a better person in future um and and, and to children's to children's if you happen to grow uh, i mean these people are adults most of them they are adults or children's in a way but if if you are to find yourself having inheritance can you use it wisely be careful of friends not everybody that says friend friend is your friend most of the people are going to be your friends because you have money they want to eat up your money they want to use you literally it's not because they care about you they want what you have then they chop up your money they drink up your money they smoke up your money and the th the next thing you are alone suffering nothing and when you start suffering like that they are gonna go find other people to use again eat up their money then you're gonna be alone suffering because even when i met that guy he was like no i don't want i don't want friends anymore i don't but at the same moment you're just like oh poor guy what happened can we learn to think uh, can we learn to think as people, as children, if you are left with an inheritance, please use them wisely. Please use them wisely. Do not drink them up. Do not think of spending. Before you even think of spending, sit back with that money and just be like, what can I do? What can I do to multiply this money? If you tried and it never worked, it's okay. But that is a different story. You want to be looking like that, what I am seeing. Your skin is dirty. You don't look good. You, don't, you won't look like that. Because at least you are not intoxicated. You are not smoking or drinking. or Your skin is still like a normal person. And also you, you remain in good um condition with people around you and family member rather than you get money you think you are on top of the world you are drinking with your family when the money is finished you are supposed to go to who to take care of you instead of just looking in one of in family members we have people that really we can rely on and go like okay i have this inheritance money or oh, let me speak to my aunt or let me speak to my to my to my one of my uncles and tell my uncles and it's never wrong to say uncle i'm having this inheritance of this money i want to do something with it um i'm having these ideas here or can you please give me ideas and then also there's nothing wrong with giving you can even just take a ten thousand and go like uncle, whoever is closer to you and say uncle take this from my inheritance there's nothing wrong with helping each other in that way but just to 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 have People must not use you to eat up your money, but at least you must. Where there are funerals or there are weddings or where there are forever you, because you have money, you can help out. Like, oh, there's a family wedding. Oh, here is a thousand. Please add to the drinks. But at least be in good condition with people as you have been, as you have been together with your parents, as life has been. It's not a thing now that you have money. Everybody is not a good person anymore. Now you are just running around with friends. Friends are going to lead you in the wrong direction. More especially bad friends. It's a very sensitive topic. And, it, and it's... it's and, and one just doesn't know. We find ourselves in situations whereby some people drink up the money, some family members steal children, eat up people's children's money. Some, if, if we can just all refrain from eating up people's money and then just taking care of the children's. And for as long as you are taken care of, really, it, it, take care of the people's children as if the parents were there because now you have the means and the money to do so. And then... You as a person who inherited money, take care of yourself. Do not mess up the money. Messing up the money is just a bad idea. If, if really we can do that, we, we are going to grow generational wealth because the reason why your parent did this is for you not to start on the, on the ground or from scratch. Now you were supposed to pick up from where they left you to move forward, not to be here suffering and playing around with things when you can do better. 
when you can even just go like okay this is our house we have money now and um we can either put rooms at the back so that people can start renting while we stay in the main house and then that rent, rent money pays for electricity and water or maybe no it's okay we can just fence it off and then put an office there and then we think of a specific idea then we start working from there or something just think of something but do not just use eat up the money like that and then you drink it up with your friends at the lane street here now you look bad and you, you, you i remember that there was even a time when we were joking about this covert uh shots and he was like yeah but what if you know some people are scared of covert shot and and it is like what if you just go and get vaccinated and then you what what and then he said ah to me i better get vaccinated and then die if i have to die than live in life like this you know but you you can really tell that the boy was was suffering man and shame um a shame he, he died so early and ah it's so sad it's so sad but yeah ne, such, such things happens and uh, yeah what do you think guys we can do these are topics that we should be discussing and i and i'm not seeing us really talking about them we we are just talking about growing assets for our children's um leaving our our children with something when we die but we are not talking about once now we are dead we leave our children with all this money or these assets how then are they going to handle this money that they're not used to that might be too much how then are they going to handle this money how then are they going to handle this inheritances is this maybe topics that we should be opening up to and and having in a society or should we just be talking about covering for your children and that's it once your children dies and that's it they're suffering what what then do we do how then do we avoid um our children suffering when we die uh, maybe if we can come in the comment down below and then we can share our ideas and 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 then we we learn from one another and we we take it up from there because really honestly um some children's not all of them but some children's really find themselves in situations whereby they are just playing with this money and the money is finished they don't do anything productive um it's in a way such a, a topic it's such a topic and yo we just don't know we just don't know but um maybe we must also start really honestly discussing with our children to say look when you get a lot of money you don't do this you do this if, even if they are young when you get a lot of money you don't play with them like this you do this even if you find yourself one day with money you don't do this you do this with the money you don't avoid this you avoid this you do this you do this just so that at least they they maybe have an idea or what do you what do you think please um comment down below let us educate one another and then we see what we can do we are not know it all we are learning progress we're still learning please um let us educate one another and i will see you guys in my next video bye